it's Jenna Ortega. I'm coming at you from quarantine. Outside, I'm in my backyard. Uh, I hope you guys are all staying healthy and safe out there. I'm making this video because it's been brought to me uh, the topic of conversation that is connection and how important it is for our health and well-being. And I know for me, personally, um, I'm not from Los Angeles, but that's where I work. So I've spent a lot of my childhood, over half of it, commuting back and forth from my hometown um, in the Coachella Valley, uh, which is like two and a half hours away, um, all the way to Los Angeles. So I missed out on a lot of time spent with family, friends, whatnot, but I understand um, how important social interaction is and human interaction is. And I, I always made it a point to stay in contact with my friends and stay in contact with my family when I hadn't seen them in a very long time. Um, because talking to them made me feel good. And it, you know, I, I know that these people love me and they're there for me and they're supportive of me. And I wanna show that, you know, those feelings are reciprocated and I feel the same way as well. Um, but especially in a time like this where, you know, everyone's home, being home alone, trapped in the house all day is not gonna feel the best, especially for your mental health. I know it'll, it's definitely taking a toll on a lot of people, including myself. Um, so it could be frustrating and it could be very lonely, but that's when we're so lucky to live in a time where technology is so accessible and you know we can we can text our friend call our friend you know if we want to see our friend's face we could look at their face if we're not quarantined with our family and you know they're locked down somewhere else we could facetime them somehow you know keep that connection there and real because because at a, at a time where certain things you know our everyday life schedules have been thrown off you know we can't go out and do our softer practices and get our exercise in and the way we typically would or you know that's just an example but um that's when we need to hone in on the things that are accessible to us and uh what we can do in the meantime while this all passes over and you know we try to keep everyone safe and healthy um so thank you guys so much i yeah i definitely encourage you and i know for me i am the worst texter ever it's terrible ever anyone would tell you my friends manager all that i'm just extremely bad but during this time, I'd like to think that I've gotten so much better because I realize, hey, I don't know how long I'm going to go without seeing these people or communicating with these people. Um, and I want to keep that, that relationship there and I want to keep it strong and I want to make sure that they're doing all right and they're doing okay because I want to check. Because, you know, for people that I care about so much, I want to make sure that they're in a, a kind mental space as well. So, yeah, connection is very important. Please check in on your loved ones. Stay safe, though. Stay in the, uh, stay in the house. You know, where I know it's difficult. I've been struggling big time, especially as a workaholic. Um, you know, I haven't been able to work. You know, it's okay because we know we're doing our job. You know, we're we're doing our part um, in keeping our community safe and the world safe. And you know, the the sooner we all just stick to the rules and stay inside, the sooner this will all be over. Thank you guys so much. Have a good rest of your day.